In just a few hours, we expect to learn more about what happened to a business owner and his wife who were brutally attacked. Greenville County deputies have not announced any arrests, but sources say a man who was in court last night may be connected to the case. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live at the Greenville County Law Enforcement Center. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Fred. Yeah, we are here ahead of a conference that was announced by the sheriff last night. A very talked about case here in the upstate said to happen at 1030 involving the Willis case updates in that case that happened all the way back in September. We can show you some video we have from when we first reported that deputies told us five men attacked Warren Willis at his Landrum store. He owns several convenience stores across the upstate. They then burglarized deputies say and shot his wife Anne at a home on Sweetgum Road. Now last night, Wednesday night, a man facing nearly a dozen charges, including attempted murder, went before a judge in Greenville County. That was Mark Allen Wright. His bond was denied by Again, a source tells our station Wright may be connected in this investigation into the Willis case. But right now, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office will not confirm that that detail is true. We are going to continue to bring you the latest updates here in Greenville. Again, that press conference said to happen at about 1030. We should say deputies also found Willis's car, which they say they rode off in, in a cornfield burned and we've been told by uh, Ann's family that she's been released from the ICU after being shot. So again, bringing you the latest updates here at 1030 when that press conference is said to happen. The sheriff's going to bring some updates in the Willis case then. Back to you guys. All right, Christine, thank you.